How to make Windows 2000s boot with USB drive with E2B, easy to boot. Maybe you are searching all over the internet and come across this page. That's right, this is exactly how I made one. But when I used easy to boot for the first time, I had a hard time understanding this text, especially this part. Uh, drag and drop the USB flash drive icon letter. And Windows Explorer to MPI desktop icon. So Alright, in this video I'll show you how I made one. It's kind of complicated. Let's start with what we need and get the recipe ready. Of course we need a computer and installation disk or image. We also need two USB sticks, preferably. One is for easy to boot stuff, the main installer. The other is for temporary use. I suggest using proper USB drives. For example, if you use SD cards and a card reader, they might not work as expected. We also need three pieces of software. Easy to boot application to make your main installation drive. There are a bunch of tutorials out there on this topic, so I won't waste too much time on that. Win setup from USB to make a temporary USB installer. An MPI tool pack to clone that temporary USB drive and clone an IMG PDN file. You can find them from their official websites or find the version that I'm using from this link. I've downloaded those applications in this folder. Let's start from this one, Win Setup from USB. I'm gonna extract it. Here is the extracted file. I'm gonna right click on it and run as administrator. Here's the application that I'm gonna to use to make a temporary installer USB. Let's open it up as an admin. Now we're ready to go. Let's insert the temporary USB drive. Here's the USB drive that I'm gonna work on. If you can't see, click refresh. Normally you can proceed to tickets and locate the installer, but you might end up with a fail that says could not install grub for DOS MBR, this sort of stuff. To fix that, we can click on Buddhist, process MBR, then select grub for DOS, but I can't do so apparently. You face this kind of issue especially if you've ever formatted your USB drive in a MacBook. Don't worry, let's deal with it together. Go to the Parts Manage, select the drive, go to Repartitioning, choose this one with Single Partition, File System, NTFS, Volume Label, I'll keep it as default, Start LBA, let's say 2048. I tried the default value and it didn't work, then click OK. Make sure you have a backup on the important file on the USB disk, then click OK. Now the USB drive is being formatted. You can see the progress at the top here. Repartitioning is completed. So now I can go process MBR. The grub for DOS option is available for me to choose. Click it and click install slash config. I'm gonna keep everything as default and save to disk. Alright, it's pretty quick. Now I'm ready to make my temporary Windows 2000 installation USB drive. Take it, then navigate to the installation CD. Here and select folder, accept the agreement, and let's go. It's gonna take a few minutes, I'll fast forward to the point when it's done.
All right, job done. Let's see how the temporary USB drive looks like. Let's see if there's anything wrong with it. Available space has reduced. The set of files are here. Looks good. I'm gonna pull out my USB drive and plug it into one of my old computers. Oops. All right. All right, now I open up my old computer, go into the files, adjust boot priority so that the USB drive starts up first, save change, and exit. All right, I'm not pressing any button. Now I can see a fancy boot menu. On the menu, there is a Windows 2000 option. It's a good sign. Hit the enter button. Here is the first part of Windows setup. And the second part of Windows setup. Let's see the first part and see if the installer can boot up. Cool. The Windows 2000 setup loads up. So it means my temporary USB drive is working. After a while, I'll quit the installer and go to the next step, which is to clone my current USB drive. Alright, we're back. It's time to clone the temporary USB drive to make a special image file. First of all, I'm gonna unzip this file. Here is the extracted file, click into it and find out this program, create desktop shortcuts.cmd. It's a Windows command script. Let's run it as admin. There is an error, but it doesn't matter to me. I already got what I need. Now I'm gonna plug in my temporary USB drive. Next, I'm gonna drag this icon, which is my temporary USB drive, and drop it on this icon, MPI NTFS. Then allow admin access. Now the MPI is doing something in the background. Now I'm asked to specify the size of the image file. This is a suggested value, but it is better to call it bigger. I'll say 500. 500 works for me. Perhaps you need a value bigger than 500, depending on the file size of your original installation medium. I'll go with 500. Hit enter. Now I'm asked to input the destination to store the image file. You can store it here, but please make sure that this directory already exists. Well. Now I'm going to my C drive. The temp folder doesn't exist, so I'm going to create one. Back to the MPI console, type the destination, capital C, clone, backslash, temp, backslash, then follow the file name. You can name the file whatever you want. I'll say win2k. You can name it something else. But what follows is the file extension. It has to be .imgptn, case sensitive, no space in between. Then hit the enter button. It's gonna take a while, I'll speed up the video. 
Here I've got the prompt, type Y, and hit enter. Alright, looking pretty good. The MPI console will disappear soon automatically. Alright, here's our output, the image file. We're gonna put that into E2B USB disk which I'm going to plug in right now. Here's it. Open it up. Go to ISO. Then go into either main menu or win. I'm going to drag the image file and drop it onto the main menu. Copy starts. Alright, now we are ready to use E2B USB drive to install Windows 2000. Now I'm going to pull out my E2B USB drive and go back to my old computer. Alright, now I'm going to open up my old computer. Go into BIOS. Adjust the boot priority. Make sure the USB drive starts up first. Let the computer start as it is. E2B menu is loading up. Here. This is a Windows 2000 installer on the E2B. It's already selected with highlight. Hit the enter button. At this prompt, type Y and enter. Alright, looking pretty good. You can see this Windows 2000 setup menu option. It's a very good sign. Go into it. We're in the submenu. Let's start from the top. You can go back to the main menu. You can do auto detect some kind of drivers. Similar with this one. Here's what I'm interested in. The first part of Windows setup. Next, the second part. I'm going to select the first part of the window setup and hit enter. Alright, very good. Now I can install Windows 2000 with E2B, easy to boot. That's pretty much it. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching.